<laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about something. I got to. And um, I haven't put up a video in like over a year. And here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about, you know, black people and religion. Okay, yeah, you have a right to believe whatever the hell you want to believe. Yeah, you have the right to believe whatever the hell you want to believe. But my thing is this. Now, yet you were raised to believe in Christianity, but yet you don't question the faith that you were raised in. What kind of insaneness is that? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, it, to me, that's insanity. Just because you were raised a certain way does not necessarily mean that you that that is the right way. So are you saying if you were raised as a criminal, like if your family was like, let's just say, use for example, the mafia, and you know, they got their means through exploitation, maybe through uh, some drug dealing, uh, uh, exploitation of women, maybe uh, uh, drug dealing, uh, um, gambling, uh, 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 murder, uh, things like that. Okay, you were raised that way. That's the only life you know. Does it really make it right? Just because about maybe 80% of America might be call themselves Christians, uh, does it make it right? Does it make it true? Yeah, 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 okay, I get it, yeah. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in. But here's the fact. You throw your faith into people's faces. Why is that? To try to persuade other people to believe like you. But when somebody like myself who questions religion as a whole, I don't care if it's Catholic or Jews or Muslims, uh, you have a problem with that. Why is that? Uh, you know, I was raised in a Christian home because just like everybody, mostly the 80%, maybe 85% of America, they get, they have some kind of religious background. And let's just say they're raised a certain type of way. But does that necessarily mean that I have to go that way? See, these are the questions. And you see, college, college, I went to college, okay? And some of you may have as well. College wasn't just about getting a degree, college was about making you think. It was about making you use your brain to question things, to under, try to understand things. Now, yet, we will not be able to understand everything, okay? We won't be able to understand everything, but there are things that we can possibly begin to understand. And, and, and what I'm looking at and what I'm thinking about is that when I see black people in church, and I even then, when I was being, uh, when I was going to church with my family, um, when I was a kid, my sisters and myself and my mom and dad, um, I used to always wonder why do black people act like? Uh, how can I say it without being so disrespectful? I, I can't. I mean, why do they act like they're regressing when they're in? The churches honestly I, I I don't get it like like you get the shouting and the jumping and the speaking in all these uh, crazy languages I mean you know better to me that's that's it almost it's like a, a, a different like a reflection of jungleness the jungleness in Africa like when they dance around like tribes do uh, um, that's what you, it seems like that that Christianity, you turn that Christianity to, you know, you pour water on people and people believe uh, it's holy or whatever. Uh, no, it's just water. Ain't no power in that. 
but people in their minds think that this is um, powerful. I, 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 I'm beginning to wonder uh, how can I put it? Um, no wonder we are not making leaps and bounds in society because we are stuck with the ideal that religion can save us and take us to the next or life, I guess, after this life. If the truth be told, you know, I know that there is no afterlife. In other words, well, let's just say none of us actually knows if there's an afterlife. But here is their defense. They think, I'm talking about religious people, that, well, it's better to believe even though just in case because it's better not to uh and in, in, in other in other words it's better to believe in, in, in instead of not believing really is that your argument i question the intellect of some people and these are educated people that go to church too but yet they don't like to live according to what the scriptures say because if you really read the scriptures, which I did when I was young, you would understand that that is a very hard way to live. Uh, you almost have to dedicate yourself to being like a monk. And even then, they're not perfect. And people, they play with their religion. So, you know, to me, you can believe whatever the heck you want to believe. But I still question your sanity because to me it's a warped mentality a warped mentality a warped mentality to believe in something you don't have no evidence there is no evidence people make believe with a uh, fraud it's a big fraud religion is a big fraud has always been but yet we continue to stay on that path as if it is uh, the cure to cancer I don't get it I guess I'll never get it but I don't know talk to you later